When I think about luxury real estate in Bellevue on the east side of Lake Washington, waterfront homes, high prices, Medina is the neighborhood that comes to mind. Medina is a Washington neighborhood just right there next to Bellevue and the Overlake Country Club and Golf Club. And it is just mwah, the creme de la creme because of a couple different things. And number one, I'll be sure to tell you, Bill Gates, the billionaire from Microsoft, built his waterfront property in Medina. So he he was commuting to uh, Redmond for that's where the Microsoft campus is at the time. And uh, that Medina area in Bellevue is just uh, kind of one of the top addresses, one of the most elite zip codes, one of the, uh, if you say it, people know it type of neighborhoods in Seattle, but it's not all, you know, gold and silver and <laughs> it's not all as fancy as you would think. So let's, let me break it down and talk to you a little bit about it. So. Medina is a waterfront property on the east shore of Lake Washington. So a little further east, we have Bellevue, downtown Bellevue. And then to the west across the lake is Seattle. Now we have two bridges. The 520 floating bridge is right by Medina. And then the I-90 bridge is south. And that one goes from kind of downtown Bellevue to downtown Seattle on the south side of those um, sort of skyscraper areas. So from a commuting perspective, you have great access to both Bellevue and Seattle, and you can go north or south. North is gonna get you to Everett, Washington, and south is gonna take you to the airport in SeaTac. And uh, you just, you can get anywhere very quickly. You're right in the middle. Seattle is known for having horrible traffic, so uh, the shorter you can make your commute times, the better. And uh, Medina has great access to all of the major freeways and you're close enough to the downtown cores that you're not gonna have to spend a lot of time driving. So that's one thing. You could say maybe living next to Bill Gates would be another cool thing about it. <laughs> but um, a, a lot of the homes in Medina are waterfront homes along the lake, but not all of them. It goes back a couple blocks. There's the Overlake Golf and Country Club there. And it's just, it's interesting because you'd think you'd be driving down a fancy boulevard with amazing homes and just awe-inspiring, catch your breath left and right. And that's not really the case. Uh, this was an area that was built and established a long time ago, uh, fairly early in the history of Bellevue and its expansion, because obviously it was desirable being close to the city and close to the water. So a lot of the homes are older and they're reaching their economic obsolescence, which means that um, I, I saw a house that was a mustard yellow house <laughs> in Medina that looked like it was about 1,500 square feet and it was going for 2.2 million. Why? Because it was a lakefront lot. So it was really just the values in the land type of situation. So uh, in order to get onto that lot, in order to build a nice home there, it's probably going to be a $5 million home. It just takes money to get in the front door. So when you've got a five or $10 million homes on one block, you're gonna also tend to have nice homes on the rest of the blocks. And they may not be as nice or as fancy, but uh, they kind of benefit from being in a good neighborhood. So what I found as I drove around Medina recently to uh, kind of get some shots for this video is that there are a lot of older homes and then interspersed here and there, are the newer construction homes. And obviously the priority for those new construction homes are along the lake. And those lots tend to be skinny. So you get a, a long narrow lot with waterfront access and road access, but not very much space uh, side to side from your neighbors because they wanna stack in as many of those waterfront lots as possible. But they are fairly set back from the road and fairly private. Uh, deeper into Medina on the, the land side, you're just going to get more of a, a nice, friendly uh, residential area, but it's going to still, you know, be in the two to three million dollar range just to get into that neighborhood, get into the easy commute access and that type of a thing. Uh, great schools in the area. Uh, the country club is good. It's, it's mostly a residential area. 
going to the south, you'll come to Bellevue, you'll come to Bellevue Square, which is kind of a shopping center area. So uh, it's easy access to restaurants and shopping and things to do, but the area itself feels very quiet, very residential, um, fairly old, but uh, nice and, and certainly a lot of newer construction coming in. So if you'd like me to uh, check out any addresses for you, get you some more information on Medina, uh, what there is to do there and that type of a thing, let me know. I'm always happy to kind of dig in. I view these videos as a, a first taste or a first exposure, but obviously uh, if you're shopping in this neighborhood, you're going to need a lot more information before you make a decision of where to buy, whether you want to build something, whether you want to remodel something, whether you want to tear something down or just buy something as is. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Medina. And if I can get you more information on it, you know where to find me. Just hit me up in the comments, private message me, or send me an email. This is Emily Cressy with homeproassociates.com. My broker is HomeSmart Real Estate in Seattle. And as always, I am here to serve.